All right, y'all. If you find yourself sitting in one of my musicianship classes, you're going to find that we're going to be using a system called movable dough solfege. And what that means is we're basically assigning a syllable to every scale degree in the scale. If I'm going to play and sing the major scale, it's going to sound like this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So each of those notes, you know, do is the first one of the major scale, re is the second, etc. We use that sound to communicate that that note in the scale is number one, two, three, four, etc. We're going to use the same syllables even if I change the starting note of the scale. So let's say I decide to go one key higher. It would still be do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. You always call the note of the key you're in do. So just like we saw with the two scales that I played, that system is going to stay the same even though the starting note, the tonic, changes. Similarly, not every song is in a major key. You have songs that are in minor keys. So instead of do, re, mi, minor keys sound like do, re, me. That shows you the difference between E natural, which is the third note of the C major scale, and E flat, the third note of the C natural minor scale. So movable do solfege helps you see the relationships between notes and the tonic, which we call do. For our purposes at California College of Music, the majority of music that we're studying stays on one key. So movable do is a great tool for you to really learn the magic of what goes into everything from the melodies of these songs to the chord progressions of these songs. So if you want to learn more about this, you can check out the chart that we have in the link below and in the link in our bio. You get all the information you need.